Yeah, afternoon, my fellow Zimbabweans. It's me again, Ashley Masango. Here in Diaspora, here in the UK. You know, we've been seeing these posts being sent by uh, Mr. Chuwenga and Mr. Chuwuri trying to uh, intimidate, uh, trying to intimidate Diaspora or trying to embarrass Diaspora by saying Zunazuskufamba, Zunazuskufaya, Diaspora is in poverty and whatnot. But they don't realize that uh, Diaspora, the reason why it's not okay, people here in Diaspora, you know, they're doing uh, four, five, even six days working in a row, 12, 14 hour shifts, you know. And it's not, it's not that we cannot take care of ourselves. It's simply the fact that we have four, five, six families in Zimbabwe to take care of. You look at uh, our country right now, it's technically in, uh, it's on life support. You understand? It's on, it's on life support. The people that are really helping to keep that country afloat uh, are people in diaspora, Australia, UK, US, and you know, you know the rest. I mean, the government, you know, my federal have failed to pay uh, people month after month after month after month and it's not by a miracle which, uh, the country keeps running it's because of people in diaspora that keep sending money over and over you know people in diaspora if you look at the statistics they're sending billions or not just of dollars billions of pounds every single year you understand and the Zim government clearly just now should realize that it, diaspora is it, it has had enough it is not going to keep quiet and because of that here in the UK I've arranged uh, for our people this flag Tajamuka and my people Mugabe must go to be there on on September the 17th outside number 10 Downing Street outside number 10 Downing Street protesting from Gabe to go protesting for the international uh, governments to to make sure that they realize that the Zanu PF regime it's a criminal it's a criminal organization. You understand? No money, no six billion pounds from from uh, the UK government should be given to uh, to Zanu PF government. We know what's going to happen to that money. Probably 500,000 is going to be funded uh, to the public and to be given to some Zeno PF youthies, as they call themselves. But we know after that, you're never going to hear anything about that money. You understand? And I'm calling people in USA, Australia, South Africa, everywhere, China, Malaysia, Zim's in diaspora on the 17th of September. On the 17th of September. We are going to protest outside of our parliament, outside of number 10 Downing Street, outside of the White House, outside of the South African parliament. We are, we are going to protest and make it clear that the, the, the ZANU-PF government that's running the country, it is not our government. We did not elect that government. You understand? It has rigged its elections. It has killed our people. And day and night they're trying everywhere they, that they can to steal money from uh, you know they're stolen so much money from the country we don't even have our currency so now they're coming back here to the west you know we're going to protest and make sure that these people their financial assets in South Africa and across the world they're frozen that these people wherever they land outside of Zimbabwe they're in risk of getting arrested for violating human rights over and over and over again we're going to make sure that these people they don't get medical financial political aid at all because they're a criminal organization and pastor even i just want to salute you because you're a true man of god you know a lot of uh, our uh people that claim to be people of god they're chasing money some of them are fairly genuine some of them are fairly genuine but most of them they seem to be chasing money and you have been on the ground you have been uh, keeping people on their feet and and we salute that you know it's here from the UK, the youth here in the UK, we salute that. And on the 17th of September, no person in diaspora has the audacity, should, should even have the audacity of saying, I had to go to a party, I had to go with this, I had to go with that. No, none of that. We are going to protest wherever we are in diaspora because Mugabe cannot get us. 
He's trying to manipulate uh, the laws of the internet by saying if we say something about the Zim government, we should get arrested in diaspora. So it's like what I told you on, on, on my first video that this man he wants Zimbabwe to be in the same situation as North Korea. You do not say anything, you do not come across him, you do not oppose him. He's gonna fight to shut down social media, and it's a fight. It, it, it's a it's a fight, and it's a race, and we we've been running this race well. And we will not stop. These people who are going to close them down. People like Chinamasa, next time they come into the UK, they will know that they are in danger of being arrested. They, they, they will know that when they come here, there is no money that they, they are going to get. When Gabi goes to Japan, you should realize there is no 500 million yuan or yen that he is going to be asking. Okay. They in Japan, our people in diaspora in Japan should be there outside uh, the Japanese parliament protesting that this man shouldn't get nothing. Because we have had enough. We have really, really had enough of this man saying hey, the country loves him, the country is with him, people in diaspora, they are with him. We are not with you. You understand? We are not with you. We don't like you. You understand? We don't like nothing about you. People in diaspora are here. They have four. They, they, they have houses in Zim. They have things in Zim. They have things here in diaspora. But there is no one in their right mind. This is what Zanopi have people. You just don't get it. You think if someone is okay, if someone has a job, if someone is eating well, they shouldn't care about something that's happening next door. This is why Chihuahua, you were saying, ah, people in diaspora, they are complaining because things are not okay. No, it's just that we are more aware of uh, the situation that our country is in and we know that it shouldn't be in that situation this is why we are fighting and let me tell you something I'm most Kufa, you are never going to win this we are going to close down the world on you Pastor even I want to thank you for starting this uh, Zim shutdown thing and now we are evolving it to a point where we are going to shut down the whole world on Zano PF. It's Zano PF shut down now. You understand? We're going to shut down Zano PF. There is no way where Zano PF people are going to go to China, Botswana, South Africa. No, we are going to shut down. We're going to work day and night to make sure those financial assets of yours, Wanaka Sukuere with your 60 bedrooms, they are going to be seized. You understand? It's a matter of time. We are not going to lose this battle. My people, 17th of September 2016. We are all going to demonstrate. Diaspora, we are going to demonstrate. We are going to stand. And there is no one in diaspora that should be giving us an excuse of why they shouldn't be going there. We are going to demonstrate on the 17th of September. And Mugabe, you are going to know. You, Mugabe, you are going to go. You understand? You are going to go. We are not asking for that. You are going to go. Your regime is going to go. Everywhere you are going to go, you are going to be uh, under the threat of being arrested. And I'm telling you, before... Before you people even think of shutting us down, we're going to work so hard to make sure that some of you, <laughs> day and night, you're going to be looking outside of your window because we are shutting the world down on you. Zanu PF shut down. South Africa, come China, no money. UK, where you come, no money. Chinama, so wherever, you, you step your foot at, we're going to make sure that you, you get arrested. Okay, you are a criminal. Zanu PF uh, organization is not a government. It is not a government. It is a mafiosi. It is a it is a criminal organization, and you are going to get shut down, shut down. Zanu PF shut down. Seventeenth of September is not just the beginning of the end. It is the beginning of many Zanu PF people's ends. Shut down, shut down. Okay, 17th of September 2016. Zanu PF, we are going to start shutting you down. Diaspora says no, enough is enough. And we are supporting our people in Zimbabwe day and night. We are going to what? Shut Zanu PF down.